a lot of the things that people are doing currently on social media, these days at least, would have never been considered okay or even people would have even paid attention to, right? But nowadays, like the more extreme you can kind of get occasionally, right, uh, the more people will, will end up watching you, right? And if that, and if that is your end game, then there are people who are absolutely willing to do some of the craziest things online, bro. They are. They have no problem committing all types of felonies, right? Or engaging in any type of felonious activity, guys, right? But all right, listen, let's go and check this video out. The name of the video is The Satisfying End of TikTok's Stupidest Criminal. Uh, this is a suggestion via Discord. The name of the channel the video is coming from is called uh, Sunny V. Let's check it out. Let's see where this takes us, guys. I see why it thought he was too famous to be arrested. Put both your hands out the window. I don't know who I am. Yet his 1.4 million followers failed to help anything, as TikTok's dumbest criminal has been in jail for almost a full year. Bro, this man just said, you don't know who I am? Bro, no. No, they, they don't know who you are. Please never do that. To introduce the type of guy he is, I see why right, was go. employed before TikTok. Had a job, I worked at McDonald's. Yet a family member exposed him stating, he worked there for a week and showed up one day and they were like, why are you here? He found out the previous day he showed up to work so high on Xanax that he got fired and he didn't remember any of it. Thankfully for Wyatt, however, a work ethic wasn't needed for his genre of TikTok content. Simply being a feminist and man who was attracted to women. If I had a huh? girlfriend, hair, nails, new bag, because I want to take care of my girl. I'll be so proud to have a girlfriend and I want to be upset. You know what? That's You know what? It's not my business. I was wondering. I was like, bro, those are those are wildly wicked nails, guys. Absolutely. Uh, I've never heard of that before. I guess, that, you listen, you know, I, I guess I'm old school, guys. I was born in the 1900s. All right. I don't know what's going on these days. That's for her. That was his very first TikTok, and it gained over 8 million views, fueled by people wondering if he was actually telling the truth. I see why it fed into this to achieve a repeat audience, with videos as simple as people who don't understand that I can be femme and still like girls, giving him hundreds of thousands of likes. Why it oh, so he found something that worked and has basically dug into it this is in fact his shtick right but all right let's go funneled this attention into bingo gambling sponsorships i am the king of bingo i am the king of gambling and then scolded the audience because they weren't as rich as him i make eight hundred thousand dollars a month year you're not even near my Okay. I tax bracket. Google me. Oh, you can oh yeah. My network. Maybe White had an ego as he'd previously right. been in jail. And I've been to jail like multiple times. Which the audience quickly realized he most definitely deserved. Okay. Because a user named KD Nail Artistry uploaded a TikTok explaining she was the one who did Wyatt's nails and he agreed to pay me from the start at a price of $200 for three different sessions. Well, rather than paying, he wrote me a check from a closed bank account. Oh. He also knew what? I was in nail school at the time, so not only was Wyatt a total scumbag, right. but it also seemed he wasn't as rich as he professed. Despite this, Wyatt only kept on bragging. Gee, I sure do look like the disappointment of the family. Bro, DH Gate is winning right now. You're giving him all your money, right? That's what's happening here. I'm going to go ahead and forecast that that's generally the case here. Um, you know, when people start talking about how much money they're making and things like that, you got you have to kind of look at them awkwardly, guys. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and guess that these definitely came from um, the aforementioned site. But isn't it funny how I make the most money? Sit down. Believing that you'll get much uh, further like in you, life guys. by cutting off all the toxic people and focusing on becoming the main character. Yeah, Wyatt seemingly went against his own advice and began dating a girl named Moore with whom he started to spend irresponsible amounts of money. Okay, so baby got her vans. Hey, you know, I had to give me one too. Stop playing. We some vans babies now. Wyatt had okay. his Mercedes wrapped in hot pink while Moore's Mercedes was crashed within a month, introducing everyone to Wyatt's terrible drive history. He had to move out of California solely because that's obviously a fake address, guys. No no one would leak his information. So driving offenses. The reason why I went to Florida was because I couldn't drive here. I had like so many traffic tickets and like 
driving on suspended license, oh DUIs, everything. So I went to Florida and I got my license mm -hmm. and it was perfectly fine. And would upload an old video of his own road rage incident, trying to look tough with the title Don't Play With Me TF. Wyatt was clearly proud of being a terrible human. And normally I'm not that nice. Normally it doesn't matter who you are, I will be like, shut the f up. I don't want to hear about that. Please stop talking about that. Next subject. And nothing solidified. This and, and these are the type of people that people are making famous these days, guys. Like this is like TikTok in a nutshell. It's more than a video he accidentally posted. He'd already given the audience a tour of his house, but it was specifically on this house's front walkway that he'd kick his girlfriend out by throwing away all of her possessions. Wyatt claimed the video was posted accidentally and the couple quickly reconciled, but the pink Mercedes seen back in the tour was about to be another problem. This man has pop pop on his stomach. His lower stomach. 25 days after getting the car, he'd post this TikTok looking all bruised and battered, which came with a tweet reading, I'm gonna get some rest and try and recover. My face is in so much pain and the rest of my body. Wyatt then gave some context. He claimed that two white hillbillies attacked him unprovoked. I was hate crimed in Florida. I was attacked by two men. My car was stuck between like a Chick-fil-A line. They backed me in so that they could both come out and come on either side of my car and attack. I don't believe this story, guys. Me. This is a juicy, juicy smoothie, right? I like what they look like. like older men, Big, like our age. fat hillbilly in like a white pickup truck. That's yeah, what they look like. And I'm in a That'd pink a pickup Mercedes truck. with this type of nails. Yeah. And when he bro, no one cares that much, bro. Trust me. He called to report the hate crime. Police beat him further because he didn't take off his seatbelt. Gosh, should I do a story time about how I got ripped out my Mercedes and my ass beat for trying to take my seatbelt off when they tell me to get out the car? White had filmed his own snippet of the incident. I can't take the seatbelt off. You need to show some respect. Posting only what made him look like a victim with the caption, Sunrise County Police in Broward County ambushed me in my neighborhood hours after I had called for help in a road rage incident earlier in the day. They didn't send anyone to help me, but came to my house hours later and held me at gunpoint. This is not okay. Wyatt was clearly the victim here, right? Well, later that day, TMZ posted their own article. Mm. TikTok star Icy Wyatt arrested for battery on police officer, which oh. clarified he was booked on Monday night for two counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, one count really? of aggravated battery with a deadly weapon, one count of battery on an officer, and one count of resisting arrest. Bro, I know I ain't like this man, bro. This, this, this energy is wrong. Right? And it's that's nothing to do with the fact that you know he is where he is, guys. It's just how you deal with people is is really important, bro. It's really important. Like no one cares about what you're doing that much, bro. But stop doing whatever you're doing, how you're doing it. All right, because it's crazy. Why its innocence was suddenly in question, yet he continued to claim I was the victim. This was in self-defense, also the adding I didn't bat the police. I was handed my phone, and then another officer ripped it out of my hand, and because I didn't release it right away, he said I assaulted him. On TikTok, White maintained it was all police's fault. The rumors are not true. There will be several news stories coming out soon about what actually happened. The police were in many wrongs. Until the body cam footage was publicly released. Please. To nobody's surprise, Wyatt wasn't actually hate-crimed. It began right. with him parked in the middle of the street, yelling at a random lady, leading the two white hillbillies to stand up for the woman. They politely told Wyatt to get back in the car, stop blocking traffic, to which Wyatt responded by pistol whipping them, throwing a drink on their car, and driving erratically in front of them. <laughs> It's all on camera. Is Almost it hitting a lady with her infant baby as he sped away from the scene. Not the baby, bro. In a beautiful display of stupidity, Wyatt then called police himself, reporting, "I just pulled over because somebody of just course. tried to kill me in of the course. car. This truck came up and tried to cut me off, so I pulled over to the next lane. And again, he's trying to swerve into my lane and tried to hit the car. Yet this is actually what he'd done to them. Wyatt then continued lying, and then I had four guys jump out." Of the car and say, we're gonna beat the crap out of you and stuff, failing to include that he'd pistol whip them after. After speaking with these hillbillies, police discovered the truth, showing up at Wyatt's house to arrest him, where he'd speak the infamous line, y'all don't know who I am. Oh, Wyatt maintained no. I didn't hit nobody, claiming his girlfriend was there to confirm his story. So my girlfriend can't be a witness to uh, Was she uh, with you? Yes. 
Oh, okay. Well, we're, we can talk to her when she gets here. Moore then showed up to tell her side. Yet it was later shown by this frame that Moore wasn't even there at the time. White's final defense of having a gun was because he drove a bright pink car who is famous online and gets messed with on the freeways all the time. I'm not sure you need a defense for owning a gun in, your, in the United States of America, specifically in a state like Florida, right? I mean, you could definitely have a gun. I don't really care about the defense, but... If you had to point that out. As if it's been a lifelong issue and he didn't just buy the car four weeks before. He added, I have millions of followers. People make this stuff up all the time. To which the cop responded, Not everybody knows who you are. Prompting White to add, I have 58 million followers. Nobody everybody who's been on TikTok or Instagram no, has doesn't. seen who I am. Before spending the Does night he? in jail, Wyatt yes. bragged about his jewelry. You know this is some 80,000 on my next impression, right? Being released the following day and posting a selfie. Celebratory TikTok. You can't get rid of me, bitch. I'm not going nowhere. Wyatt then called the paparazzi on himself to claim the don't you know who I am phrase was referring to him being the one who called police. I called the police okay. and told them that this whole altercation happened. So right. when they pulled up, I said, don't you know who I am? <laughs> yeah. He's the one who don't you know who well, I am? That's not what he meant, bro. Stop playing. Bragging about his followers was due to his head injury. I'm not uh -huh. slurring my words okay. until they slam my head on the ground. Then I'm like, oh, I have 58 million followers. Which was covered by a brand new tattoo of his girlfriend's name on his face. Despite treating the arrest like one massive joke, Wyatt was in serious trouble. So yeah, I might be facing 20 years in prison because of this name. Yet he'd still post TikToks such as this one. All right, y'all. Do y'all think I should get this 2021 Range Rover? Or should I get a G-Wagon? Leading to me. Get the G-Wagon. All right, that Range Rover is, is, is not going to make it out of the parking lot, bro. If it does, I'll be surprised. I should get this 2021 Range Rover or should I get a G-Wagon? Leading to many comments mocking him. If I were facing up to 20 years, I don't think looking for a new vehicle would be at the top of my list of things to do. Additionally, because Wyatt was now awaiting trial. If I got pulled over, I could get the maximum sentence, 10 yeah. years. Leading to a TikTok beef with his very own mother. She simply gave Wyatt the most obvious advice ever. She's like, well, you know you're not supposed to be driving. If you get pulled over, you're going to go to jail for 10 years. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, girl. Where's his father at? I, I want to know. Can we talk about this another time? Like, I'm really not trying to hear about this. She's like, okay, well, I'll talk to you about it later. Then I'm like, no, I don't ever want to talk to you about it unless I bring it up because that's something that triggers me. Leading to their relationship completely falling apart. They'd publicly argue back and forth about anything and everything. Although Wyatt failed to take any of her advice. Because during this period of waiting for his sentence, Wyatt's stepdad proudly announced he got into an altercation and keyed a car while he was out on bail. As a result, Wyatt was rearrested <laughs> to be jailed until his trial, right. predicting just beforehand he wouldn't be in for long. I'm looking at probably a month's time in $10,000. However, three months passed without a word. Bro, you're the last one that needs to go to jail, bro. I'm going to be honest. You are the last individual to end up in jail. I'm telling you. Um, this guy, this guy is a is an interesting individual. Like hearing the story, like knowing that he did basically every single thing that he said he didn't do, while then claiming that he's the victim in, in this situation, is absolutely just asinine, guys. Heard about his trial and his plan to work out every day didn't exactly happen. Because I'm gonna just be working out the whole time. As he'd tell his girlfriend via jail phone, he'd gained forty pounds or eighteen kilos. In the process, White was facing other issues. Have you? gotten in a fight since you've been in there? I was attacked. As more finds out why, it will be serving at least two years. I know I was being Delulu, like thinking that this was gonna be like quick and easy and that you were gonna be home soon. The reality is just like very much like hitting me now. Despite this, Moore had Icy Wyatt tattooed on her neck, live streaming the session during which she'd get a call. On the phone was a debt collector asking for payments on a mattress. They've got <laughs> all this money apparently, but can't buy a mattress outright. Wyatt's mum then revealed they had payments on their cars, making it obvious they'd financed their whole life and were pretty much broke. Two months ago, Wyatt vocalized being worried about the cost of a phone call while his 40 pound weight gain has turned into 70. I gained 70 pounds since I've been here. 
pounds. As a last ditch effort, Wyatt sent the judge a letter stating, I feel absolutely terrible and ashamed for the way I nah. handled things with these people. I'm not the type mm. of person to hurt anyone or vandalize people's property. That just nah, isn't who I are. am or who I want to be. But the judge didn't buy it. I see why it's still yet to be convicted, having spent 12 months in prison and lost absolutely everything simply because he couldn't hold his anger. I see. Oh, guys, that's a rough one. Um, like based off of every single thing that I've heard here, he wants to play the victim. All right, uh, he wants to be the victim. He he lies about every single thing that he's doing here. Um, I'm almost positive in the beginning of this video, it said that he had 1.4 million. Uh, followers, not 58 million followers, but either way, 1.4 million on TikTok. Okay, right? Um, so, in his head, obviously, because he has this many uh, uh, followers on TikTok, um, he would, like, the public would think that he's making a gigantic amount of money. Uh, TikTok is not the way to go for, for content creation. Guys, it just isn't. Uh, it, it, nothing can really compete with the Google platform. So when I see people with, with a million uh, followers on TikTok, I'm like, bro, you guys are not. They're not like, for example, um, they could get like 50 million views on a video and probably make $100, guys, basically. And that's that's crazy. So when he's trying to flash like he's making all of this money, he... Uh, I know, and almost every other content creator, specifically on YouTube, um, knows instantly that he's lying. He, he's lying. Uh, and the fact that you think your fan base needs to hear you lie to make them feel better, I guess, I don't know, or to make yourself look like you're doing better in life. Bro, it's not necessary. Like, be exactly who you are at all times. And again, when people fed into whatever nonsense he was doing on that, on that first initial video, he had to then obviously do a deep dive into that, um, into, into that shtick basically. And him flashing all of these designer things, bro, all of that is fake. Okay. Um, because the same thing with a lot of, a lot of other content creators do specifically coming from TikTok is they all go and buy everything from China, right? Or they go to, they go to Manhattan and go to Canal Street and start buying up all the things on Canal Street. Right, you, have you ever, ever wondered why some of these creators have Rolexes? <laughs> uh, specifically when they are TikTok exclusive? Bro, those Rolexes on, on Canal Street are like $10. <laughs> I'm exaggerating, they're probably like 40. All right, and every single one of these three three to $5,000 bags that he was showing off are about, bro, $70 from China. All right, just keep this in mind here. All right, stop lying to the people. Right? I don't think he's a great person based off of what we've seen here. Um, but, you know, guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Um, dude, nothing to do with whatever he is. I don't, I, I don't know, guys. I don't know. But um, I, just, I just don't think he's a really good person, guys, deeply. Um, but right, listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day thoroughly. Guys, before we go, are you guys subscribed to the other channels? Logical Movie Reviews with Mr. L. Boyd along with... Mr. Elboy Music. Both are found in the description. Check it out.